there's a huge interest in building out data centers very quickly to provide people with the artificial intelligence and the access to the internet that they want. And there's, uh, those companies have the money to build it very quickly, and so they want to proceed very rapidly. Data centers are these big buildings full of computers and hard disks. And when you click your phone, it sends a message to a data center where a computer there does the Google search for you or, or provides the video that you see. So there are thousands and thousands of these computers in different data centers all over our country and all over the world that are waiting all the time, fired up, ready for you to, to click or to ask your question. And they need a lot of electricity. So one of the biggest challenges today is how to find the energy to power the, all the new data centers that are being constructed in the United States and around the world. Here at MIT, we're trying to develop a clear understanding of all the aspects of the problem and try to find solutions that will work for everyone. We've historically had a lot of research, um, much of it supported by MITEI, on better photovoltaics, uh, solar cells, to make more efficient and cheaper solar energy. We also have a lot of research on batteries, and batteries have now gotten cheap enough that at least in some locations, you can use the batteries to back up the solar cells so that even if the sun isn't shining, you can still use some of the solar electricity that you stored earlier in the day. As you get more and more options of how to power, to provide power to the electrical grid, you have to make decisions about what to build. So as the demand goes up, you have to build something to provide the power. At MIT, we're one of the leaders in developments of software to try to predict the best way, the optimal way to build out the grid. One of MIT's special roles um, in our system is that we can convene the technical conversations. We bring in the companies, we bring in the academics, we can bring in the national labs and the government researchers. We bring in the policy leaders, both in the nonprofit sector and also in the government, people from the national labs. For example, we have companies, uh, electrical utilities, we have the companies make the equipment for the data centers and for the power supply, we make the wires for the electric grid, we have the companies that provide the power, because everyone has a stake in the whole system working well. We need the system to work well so that everyone's society gets the power they need and the computational services that they need and the data they need. Um, and it needs to work for all the companies because everyone has to cooperate to rapidly build out this new system that's going to work for everyone.